Now how the hell does that thing form? Well we're going to need to go back in geological time because to understand how it forms you need to go back in time. You can't just talk about how the canyon was cut by a river, right? We need to talk about how those sediments got there. So the rocks in this canyon are between 2 billion, that's old as fuck, 2 billion to 200 million years old. The centre of the canyon, we're at the west side of the canyon now, the centre of the canyon has some of the oldest rocks in the canyon that date between 2.0 and 1.8 billion years old. But this stuff behind me kind of dates in between that up until 200 billion years old, right? So originally deposited as sand, silts and muds and limestones as well as marine fossils back in the day. Most of this was underwater for most of its life, which is madness to think that it's now very, very high at 4,000 metres. I'm standing 4,000 metres above this canyon and it's been pushed up and uplifted into the position it is just now. Is that not mad? I think it's mad. So basically the sediments were all deposited layer upon layer, horizontal layers upon horizontal layer, right? And over geological time they compact and turn into rock. Remember you had a shallow sea on top of this? Well what's caused it to go up the way is all the tectonic activity that's happened in this area. So back in the day, between 70 to 40 million years ago, you had a big erosion happen here. You had the Pacific plate collide with the North American plate. And as these both collided, it pushed this plateau known as the Colorado Plateau up the way. It uplifted it into the position it is today and it's still uplifting it, right? So this thing's moving up the way and you're just like, wow, tectonic forces and that that happen over millions of years can do something like this. Yes, they can. But wait, what makes it even more amazing is around five to six million years ago, the Colorado River, which is the river that's situated in this valley, started cutting it. And because this was uplifting, it started down cutting it. So the erosional processes that this river's capable of is madness to see that it's cut all of this over millions of years up until this day, it's still doing it still cutting through the valley as we know it absolutely mad this to think that a river that can deposit rocks can also cut through them that's what geology is all about, it's complicated right hen? <laughs> so aye, that's what it's doing now an interesting fact about this Colorado River is it's cold, it's freezing why is it so cold? there's a bug on me it's so cold because that water is from the Rockies, which is, you know, a mountain chain in the north. And the water's traveling down from the Rockies and it's freezing, it's glacial water, it's beautiful. Oh, when I touched it earlier on, I was like, please, can I jump in here? But then 